Hello, my name's Danny, and one day I intend to rule this country, if that's all right with you. And actually, even if it isn't, because I am going to be a dictator. Get rid of that. Probably swap those two chairs around. Probably make that bigger. What do you guys think of this? Probably put that here. Probably bring this in quite a bit. This is quite wide, this street. It's fine. Yeah, this is fine. That's stupid, isn't it? It's not. I changed the smell, but not much else. No. It takes too long to run from there to here. I hope someone's writing all this down. Please do not worry. I will be a kind and fair dictator. I'll make old people happy. Have a flower. Have a flower. Do you have that? Yeah. High five. <laughs> I'm great with foreign dignitaries. Welcome to Britain. Have a pencil. Have a pencil. I will invent brilliant new laws. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll create nine-day weekends. I will give Norfolk to the French. I will ban everything. Basically, I intend to make full use of my ultimate power. Hello. Sorry about him. Slightly embarrassing. He's just there to show you how things could have gone if, back in the old days, we'd decided on a different system. Change all that. Now, granted, dictatorships do have their advantages. You get a lot done. This is very nice. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what we need more of. These little boxes here. But Britain has a democracy. Now, democracy means government by the people. It comes from the Greek word democracy, meaning government by the people. In the UK, it means that with a few exceptions, everyone over the age of 18 gets a vote. Now, who thinks we should stay for another? Carried. Vote oh, Danny. Each vote is important, which is why politicians spend so much time and energy knocking on doors, handing out leaflets and finding tiny babies to kiss. They need to persuade us that they're the best person for the job of representing us in Parliament. Vote for Danny, yeah? Who's Danny? Parliament comes from the French word for Parliament. You've, uh, you've not researched this hugely, have you? Leave it. I'm working. Now, like the Lord of the Rings, Parliament comes in three sections. You've got the House of Commons, you've got the House of Lords, and you've got the Queen, God bless her. Though these days her powers are mainly theoretical. Doesn't sound very fair. She doesn't mind. She's a very busy woman. So the main two are the House of Commons and the House of Lords, and together they're responsible for making new laws and repealing old ones. Sounds fairly easy. I'm a dictator. I'm going to try and revolutionise the country. I need some rules, some laws. What would your first rule be if you were in charge of the country? Stop pollution. Stop pollution. Yeah. More cheap houses more and more buses. Houses. OK, well, I mean, I'm going to need help with this. So can I leave that with you? The first law would be to get Martha out of the market, cos she drives me crazy. <laughs> right, where is she? Right, She's where is she? Thinking. I'm going to sort this out. <laughs> get out of the market. What ideas have you got? What strategies have you worked out? Uh, I really haven't thought about it to that extent. I'm sorry. Do you like it? It's good, isn't it? I can get you one of these. Democracy, it's got its place, I think. It's quite nice, we all have a say. Mm -hmm. But it'd just be quicker if I'm doing it. What do you think of that? So it seems like the upside of being a dictator is also the downside. It seems like everyone's quite happy for me to do all the work myself. Maybe I'd like to share it out a bit. So perhaps a parliament's not a bad idea. Get some other people involved. You know, get myself a house full of lords, get myself a house full of commoners. Now, what's the difference between the House of Commons and the House of Lords? I like these. Uh, I don't know. What is the difference between the House of Commons and the House of Lords? It's not a joke. Well, the House of Commons is made up of 646 elected members of Parliament who each represent an area of the UK known as a constituency or seat. That, that was a joke. Now, every four years or so, very excitingly, there's a general election which determines which MPs will be taking a seat. Once elected, it's their job to represent the interests of their constituency while taking part in the crazy rough-and-tumble of 
parliamentary debate, the passing of laws and the controlling of government spending. Now, the House of Lords, that's different. Unlike the House of Commons, its members are unelected. Most of them are life peers. Some used to be MPs, but a lot are experts from outside the world of politics. Scientists, lawyers, people like that. But never, controversially, astronauts. Like the Commons, the Lords help make our laws, but they also look at the small print of every bill to make sure they'll work, using microscopes and tiny magnifying glasses. Now, both the Lords and the Commons have committees which look at subjects in more detail and publish important reports. What, like uh, school reports? Kind of, like school reports, yeah, you know, they might tell the government, you must try harder, you could do better, or if they've been really bad, see me later. Right, so am I just being thick or are all those people in government? Well, put simply, you're just being thick. Right. Government is part of Parliament, but being in Parliament doesn't mean you're in government. With me? Right, well, you're with me. That's, that's the important thing.